So in today's video, I want to teach you the four steps to win at public speaking. So I just delivered an event this past weekend called Message to Millions. I'm a speaker. Um, and over the last month, I did a theater show also to about 300 people at one venue and 100 people at another venue. I, so I'm a speaker and I also have a one man show on my life story where I'm an actor. And uh, the things I want to share with you on communication are really important from my experiences over the last month and over the last uh, you know, 19 years or so of being up in front of audiences. So number one, uh, how do you win at public speaking is uh, you actually have to be yourself. And that's a tough thing for people. Uh, too often people will depend on their script or depend on their notes as a crutch or depend on their PowerPoint. And I actually think that PowerPoint and notes are the worst thing that you could possibly do as a speaker. I know this kind of goes against the grain of how most people think of it, but I think a great speaker knows their material. And so somebody who's an expert is somebody who gets up and speaks to audiences, like you're an expert in your topic. Now if you're an expert in your topic, why would you need notes? And the only reason you would need notes is because you can't literally be with the audience and confront the audience. So one is do not rely on your notes, do not rely on your PowerPoint as your crutch. Can you have them? Yes. Can you uh, use a PowerPoint? Yes. But the moment you start putting your attention there and taking it off the audience, you're in a lot of trouble being a public speaker. So know your stuff. If you have to rehearse it and rehearse it and rehearse it and rehearse it to get comfortable with it, to where you feel comfortable communicating that message, do it. Do whatever you need to do to where you can show up and be yourself, okay? Really important. So being yourself means you are the one who is the vehicle of communication, not the notes, okay? The notes should be integrated into you. That's the first step. The second step of public speaking and how to win is to communicate with the audience and to interact with the audience. I rarely ever give a talk now where there's not interaction with the audience when I'm on the stage. I just feel like that interaction connects the audience more and makes the topic more real. So it's not uncommon for me to be in front of hundreds of people and go out into the audience and just ask a question to somebody and, uh, and interact with somebody or coach with somebody. So I think a good public speaker can demonstrate their topic um, and if you can give people an experience of it and connect with the audience in a way where um, you literally go out into the audience and you communicate with an individual and you demonstrate your mastery, um, that's another way to win big at public speaking. I think that the third way to win big at public speaking is to be able to sell. Um, you know, this might be a, a little unorthodox where you're like, oh, I just want to speak and give speeches. But I think we're always selling and we're always enrolling and we're always inspiring. So by selling, I mean you're inspiring people to take action on something. Uh, I think it's great if you have a product or something to offer that somebody could buy so that they can gain mastery in the topic that you're talking on. But if you don't, um, then you should be selling them and inspiring them to take action to do something after the talk. So to go like implement, to go take action, right? Because a great speaker gets people into action and all sales is inspiring people to take action on your product or your offer or inspiring them to take action on the thing you're teaching so they go out and do it. But most of the time they're not gonna be able to go out and do it unless they have some training of something that you're offering up to them that helps them become proficient at what it is that you're teaching. So that would be the third thing. And I think the fourth thing to be awesome at public speaking and to win at public speaking is to inspire. Uh, you know, a great speaker is like present and they can literally pull things in and elevate people's emotions. You know, my whole event this past weekend was teaching a lot of strategy, teaching a lot of tactics, but one of the things that I did was I stopped and I told stories. So telling stories is a part of inspiration. You know, when you stop and you tell a story, people drop into the present tense. And so that's really powerful to be able to get people to drop in and be present in the storytelling and it creates a different dynamic. I remember I did it on day three of my seminar recently and I was just sat down and just started telling a story. Actually it was day four and uh, people started laughing and the emotion of the room picked up because a lot of times when you're teaching bullet points and steps and you're like do this, this and this or you're teaching information that's maybe a little dry, um, people get a little lost and they get a little heady and they disconnect. So I like to tell a story that brings them back into present tense and takes them on a journey. So that's fun, number one. And then the other part of uh, inspiration and step number four that I'm teaching right now 
is um, to elevate people's emotions. You can elevate through story, but you can also elevate by bringing people up, by speaking from a different place. I call it speaking from the spirit rather than speaking from the mind. And you can speak to the bigger vision and purpose that people have in their lives. You can elevate them to the things that are important of taking responsibility for their family, taking responsibility for their fellow man, taking responsibility for themselves and their vision and their dreams. Like you can literally elevate people to a new level of consciousness in a speech by bringing them up emotionally to see their bigger vision. So storytelling and visioning is a great way to inspire people to new heights. Those are the four tips I have for you on public speaking. Um, you know, I teach some great courses on speaking from the stage. Uh, and you know, if you haven't followed my work before, uh, one of the things that you'll know is that uh, I really help coaches, experts, speakers, service businesses um, go out and get high paying clients online every single day so that they can make an impact, create a consistent stream of income, and really have that lifestyle running their business from anywhere in the world. So uh, hopefully this served you to maybe go out and become a speaker and have that kind of lifestyle and get those types of clients. Or maybe this has inspired you to uh, go give your first talk. So I'll see you soon.